All right. So we talked about uh, privacy, also known as confidentiality, and our three main threats to privacy, social engineering, media reuse, and eavesdropping. And when people talk about cryptography, that's what most people associate with it. However, other services that cryptography can provide, integrity, authenticity, and non-repudiation. So let's talk about integrity for a moment. And when we talk about integrity, what we want to be able to do is to detect modification. Now, modification can happen in several different ways. Modification can be unintentional or accidental, meaning that uh, maybe a file is corrupted across a link. Uh, integrity can be maliciously modified as well. Maybe an attacker intercepts communication, modifies it, and retransmits. So when we're talking about intentional versus unintentional, we have different ways that we deal with it. So for instance, if we are concerned with intentional modification, actually let's start with accidental modification. What we use for accidental modification to detect that is a hash. And another word for a hash is a message digest. And they'll be used interchangeably. A hash means message digest. Message digest means a hash. We won't differentiate between the two. But hashes and message digests are just there to detect accidental modification. Again, something like corruption on the line. If we want to detect malicious modification, something that's done intentionally, then there are two elements that can do uh, protection against intentional modification. The first is called a MAC. Message Authentication Code. And MAC is one of those fun acronyms that's going to mean lots of different things this week. You know, if you've done any reading ahead, you maybe came across mandatory access control or media access control. Well, today's meaning of the acronym MAC is Message Authentication Code. And a digital signature would also be able to detect intentional modification but it does require an infrastructure. Now, we're going to get into this in much more depth in just a little bit, but for now, I just want you to have this information. Hashes are good to detect against accidental modification. Macs and digital signatures would be used to detect intentional modification. So they all essentially do the same thing. It's just that they implement it a little bit differently. The whole purpose with integrity is I want to be able to create a baseline image of the file. Uh, it's, it's almost like if I have a class full of students and I say I, that I don't want anybody to move. Okay, So I'm going to take a picture of my class. I'll step outside. When I come back in, I'll take another picture. I compare the two pictures, and if they look the same, I know nobody's moved. That's what a hash and a Mac and a digital signature do for us in relation to integrity. They produce a digital representation of a file, and I'll put a hash on the file before I send it to you. So I'm going to hash the file, come up with a digital representation, send it to you. You do the same process that I did. If your image matches my image, we know there hasn't been a modification. Okay. And they all do these differently, but ultimately that's the very nature of integrity checking. Now, with integrity checking and digital signatures, Digital signatures actually go a step beyond integrity checking, and they give me authenticity. So with authenticity, we want to be able to verify the origin of a message. And a digital signature gives me that, as does a Mac. They just do it a little bit differently. So we get a little authenticity with a Mac. We get a little authenticity with a digital signature. And I'm not asking that you know these terms yet, other than just have a sense. I want you to have heard them before. We haven't defined what a Mac is. We haven't defined a digital signature or even how a hash works. All of these things we'll talk about very shortly. So for now, I just kind of want you to have some notes on how we address the CIA, confidentiality, integrity, and authenticity. Uh, but, but don't feel bad if you're not familiar with them or how they're created. All right, now... For integrity, hashes, Macs, and digital signatures. Macs and digital signatures go a step further than a hash because they give us authenticity. Now, non-repudiation is a combination of integrity and strong authenticity. That's what non-repudiation is, that a sender can't dispute having sent a message nor the contents 
of a message. So I can't say, oh, that email didn't come from me. Uh, or I can't say, yeah, the email came from me, but somebody must have modified it in transit. Non-repudiation means that I can't dispute having sent a message nor the contents of the message. And the only way we get non-repudiation is through a digital signature. Okay. Now, a digital signature takes things further than a hash. It even takes things further than a map because it adds some uniqueness information that absolutely guarantees, at least to the degree that we can guarantee that the message came from me. And we'll see how that works in the next section. So I want you to have integrity for accidental modification as a hash. If it's intentional, you can detect that with a Mac or digital signature. But you don't get true stand up in court, non-repudiation, unless you're using a digital signature. Okay. So these are the main elements that cryptography gives us. And as a matter of fact, a lot of times when I talk about them, I talk about them in relation to privacy, authenticity, integrity, non-repudiation. And I always tell people to remember the pain of cryptography. And that's how you can remember the four security services. Because again, most people zero in on privacy and say, oh, cryptography is all about keeping secrets hidden. And it does provide that service. But also, you can't forget authenticity, verifying the origin of a message, integrity, being able to detect changes, and non-repudiation, binding a message and its contents to an individual. So in all seriousness, if you'll remember pain, those are the four services that cryptography can provide.